Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I set up this brine shrimp ecosphere and stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll also be showing a one week update on how the shrimp are doing. First, I'm gonna be adding the aquarium sand. This is just for aesthetic purposes. So if you're gonna be using a substrate yourself, just make sure to wash it with the same water you're gonna be using in your ecosphere. Next, I'm adding the salt water. I got mine from a local reef store and I would suggest doing the same, but if you're gonna to choose to make the salt water yourself, I would recommend using a hydrometer just to measure the salinity. Here I am adding some spirulina algae to one of the decorations I'll be using in this tank. I'll also mix some of the algae into the water itself later on in the video. Now it's time to add the brine shrimp. For the best results, I've already hatched a brine shrimp in this DIY hatchery. It's been running for about a day and a half now and there's already a bunch of brine shrimp swimming around. If you'd like me to show you how the brine shrimp hatchery was made, just leave a comment below. But there's also a ton of DIY videos on YouTube that you can follow. After adding the shrimp, I also added a thin layer of the algae to the top of the water, and now it's time to seal it up. Now here are some clips of the brine shrimp ecosphere after only one week. As you can see, there's already a ton of them swimming around. They're getting quite big now, and hopefully in the next week or two, we'll start seeing them become adults. Stay tuned for future updates and other projects we'll be doing. Thanks, bye.